Hello everyone, for today's video we are going to be working on our truck. Uh, if you own a 2014 to 2018 Chevy Silverado or Sierra uh, Tahoe or Suburban, you will most likely have the, the 6L80 transmission which are prone to failure. And one of the main reasons of those failures is the transmission essentially runs too hot. So from the factory there's a thermostat for the transmission and it's opening way too late causing the transmission to run too hot. Now I did um, drive the truck and wanted to monitor our temperatures and our temperature did get up to 196 degrees. I want to do uh, preventive maintenance so I don't have to trans don't want to replace my transmission anytime sooner. So, all right, so there are four methods that you can, you can choose to do uh, to prevent this from happening. The first thing is they call it the pill flip. So you take off the factory thermos transmission thermostat and you essentially flip the pill and I'll show you how to do that. Now the second is what we're going to be like keeping our truck for now is the, sh the product from uh, SureCool. Sure it essentially replaces the internals of the uh, factory transmission thermostat. And then third will be buying the updated part number from Chevy itself or GM. And then fourth will be uh, essentially you take everything out of the the internals out of the transmission thermostat and then you drill and tap and put a plug at the bottom of it which that's something that we're not going to do <laughs> so but i just want to let you know those are the four ways to you can uh, prevent your transmission from overheating or running too hot so hopefully it saves it you know because that's a very expensive uh product to to replace or get rebuilt so it's like four thousand, five thousand dollars. So, <laughs> so I mentioned uh, four things, um, but we're only going to do two. So, uh, in order to do that, first thing we got to get get going is uh, removing the uh, the factory one. So let's go. All right. So where where this uh, transmission thermostat is located is just underneath the driver's side door, on uh, on the side of the transmission. So. Luckily our truck is lifted and I can just crawl underneath it, even though I'm kind of big. <coughs> so essentially you're going to find these two cooler lines and they're going to run up to this block right here. So this is actual the transmission thermostat and it is held on by two bolts. Now mine is a 2016 so I want to say from 2016 to 2018 there's just these two bolts. One is a 10 millimeter and one is a 13 millimeter. And then there's like this little bracket plate that holds the lines on. When you remove this, have like a towel or rag nearby because some fluid will come out, not a lot, but some. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking out this bolt and this bolt. You know, a gear wrench would be nice right now. Do we have it? No, I don't have any of those. I should buy one. Christmas is coming up. I could use a whole set of that. Two thousand years later. Right now, it should come off. So now, oh, and there goes the fluid. Okay. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Because there's more room coming out. All right. So this is the transmission thermostat. So we're gonna to go to the, on top of the toolbox and that way you get a better view of it, of what we're gonna be doing. All right, so here's the transmission thermostat. Uh, that's where the cooler lines go to. And then that little plate bolts right here. Now when you take off the, uh, the lines, there's gonna be O-rings here. They're most likely gonna stay on the line, but make sure they don't, they didn't get stuck in here. You're gonna, Either you can replace those or you can just uh, reuse them. I'm going to end up just reusing them because they're still uh, in good condition. <laughs> so we're going to take this snap ring off. Uh, I am going to clean with some brake cleaner and uh, get all this dirt and dust and stuff in there. And I got these snap ring pliers at O'Reilly's. You can get them at Harbor Freight or Lowe's or Amazon, wherever. But I got these these guys so you got the little two holes there you got the two pins 
I might need some. I might need my assistant. Okay, get in there. Use my little pick here. Ah, oh, it's really not being nice. There we go. Ta-da! It's off. Only took me like five minutes. And next is going to be taking this little thing off. Some people use pliers. Some people will use a flathead head and try to pry up with it. Oh, actually. Oh, that was fast. That's actually easy. So yeah, you just, what I did on the top hole here, I just had a flathead head and I popped it up. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna show you the internals. So you got the cap. You got what they call the peel. And you got the spring. So the first one I talked about was the peel, the peel flip mod. Now I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So you take the peel and you flip it upside down to get the small part and it drops in there like so. Then you take the spring, which goes on top of that. And then you put this back on, back together, like how it came. That's the pill flip mod. So what it's, what it's going to do is cause the, the fluid to keep socking through. So making your um, transmission run cooler. All right. If you don't want to spend money, uh, that's a free mod you can do. Uh, is it better? I'm not the one that's going to say it's better or not, or worse. But what we're going to go with is the second method I mentioned which is the Superior Solutions Shrill Cool uh, product. And you can see right there, it's for the uh, 6L, 8L, 80, 90 OE transmissions. So this is actually my first time opening the box. And I'm gonna show you what's actually inside of it. All right, so this is what, what comes in the, uh, the Shrill, Shrill Cool uh, kit. You have the cap, replaces the cap, the factory cap, uh, the factory cap, I can talk. Uh, two big O-rings, which is good because you have a double ceiling for the cap itself. You have a little small O-ring that goes on this guy here. You have a spring, a conical shaped one, and a ball bearing. Now the advantage of having the, the Surecool system is you can use this from 2014 2018 now I mentioned before there's a third way um, that you can upgrade your thermostat by getting the new part number from GM but the problem is is the cooling lines are different so you'll have to replace if you have a 2014 2015 Chev Chevrolet or GMC you'll have to replace the cooling lines as well so <laughs> So if you have 2014, 2015, I think this is the best way of going and way cheaper. Uh, the instructions will show you exactly how it's supposed to be set up. Uh, hopefully I got that there for you. Yeah. All right, so you got the two O-rings that go here. You get the ball bearing. You have the conical spring, which the small part actually is facing the ball bearing. And then you have the little peel thermostat area and you get the little small o-ring that goes on top of that. All right, so first is gonna put these o-rings on. You know, it's like two groups there, so easiest way I think is probably using a pick. All right, so there's that one. And then we'll lubricate with the uh, transmission fluid that's on the, the floor. <laughs> no, that's actually, we'll just lubricate with the transmission. And then I'm gonna put this O-ring on here, like that. So, in the, in the cap, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the little little hole there, at the bottom? Mm -hmm. All right, that's where the, the ball bearing is gonna fall, in there, like so. And like I said, the small end, this one that goes, that faces the ball bearing. And then you got this, it's gonna go like this. So I'm just gonna, whoop, I already messed it up. Okay, so you just stay there real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this guy in here. 
There you go. Is it sitting there? And then ball bearing, this little hole area right there. Can you see? Yeah. And then this small end goes there. And you kind of like had to put it so it doesn't fall apart. Boom. And then we got a pair of snap ring back on. Now we're gonna show it on YouTube that it's gonna be really easy, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, okay, it is easy. <laughs> so, okay, so you kinda gotta get in there. Make sure it's in the groove. I like taking a fly head and kinda making sure it's see it in the groove good. Cause if it not, and it might pop out, so that's not good. But it looks like I got it all in the groove there. Boom. So actually, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. So that's it. That's a sure, sure cool uh, kit installed in our factory thermostat. So now uh, we're going to install it back into our uh, transmission. Make sure the rings are still there and good condition you can replace them if you want to um, but I'm I'm just gonna reuse ours because they're, they're still in good condition so I put the thermostat back in 13 millimeter so now I'm just gonna put the lines back in Let's see here there we go there we go all right so after uh, Doing a circle thermostat mod or um, modification. Seems like the temperature, the highest it got after doing like some city driving and highway driving, the hottest it got up to so far has been 167, 167 degrees Fahrenheit, and automatically went down to like 165. Now it's at 163, cruising at 70 miles an hour at temperatures of 97 or 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, before. It was a it would go up to 196 degrees so a good 30 degrees cooler so the sure cool um, kit really does work so just uh I see it now it's going down 162 so I'll probably go down a little bit cooler once we keep driving on the highway but but still I mean even uh, before it would get to 196 degrees Fahrenheit so all right well that's good that's good <laughs> that's it yep <laughs> so thank you for watching take care and god bless <laughs>